Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel RK Keynotes. Today uh, I'm going to discuss the important feature in .NET that is called uh, language interoperability. So this particular feature supports the user to communicate with different programming language. Let's begin with the demo. So here in the solution explorer you can see that I'm having two different projects. One is from C -sharp and then another one is from BB. So what I did in this C -sharp, uh, project is that uh, I'm just going to have a class, I'm having a class and then a method with a single parameter and uh, inside uh, uh, within a method I'm having a string and uh, I'm having something to print. And what I'm doing uh, in the Windows project is that I'm going to have a, a form and see for this particular class I'm not creating any object over here. But what I did is uh, using a VB uh, uh, project, uh, I have created a uh, variable, and here I'm creating an object, and I'm, I'm passing arguments over here for that particular method. That's it. Then when I uh, build and when I finally run this application, you'll be getting an output like this. So this is one of the important feature. You can able to combine different different languages maybe you know more than two mm, uh, here i have used c sharp and vb like this you can use c plus plus or whatever you want so this is one of the important feature in dotnet so <coughs> let's it's compiling yeah so this is what the exactly what language interoperability means so now I'll take you to um, the real uh, experience that how, uh, how to uh, make this project and all. So the thing is you should go to file new and select project. And uh, first of all I'm gonna work with C sharp. So we are not going to uh, work with a console application and uh, so that we just go to uh, a class library I'm gonna select a class library you should aware that uh, whenever you compile a dot net uh, programs uh, the compiler will gen generate two kind of files one is dot uh, dll and one is dot exe so if you are using class library file it will generate you uh, a dll file you can all see over here so I'll begin with this class library and I, I got a class library one so in, in, in the solution explorer you can see this and I'll just uh, I have a predefined code which I have done so I'll just use it so this is what uh, a namespace and a namespace name and a class name and within a class I'm having a method called display string and uh, one single parameter and using string with a type I'm, I'm, I'm just printing something I'm returning from the method and I'm gonna get the argument from a VB uh, project so after making this one you just go to the solution the, the, the project and then build this application so that you can see that this DLL file will be generated over here. You can see here over here. So this is what because I have used a class library, so I'll be uh, getting a DLL file. If I have used a normal project, I'll be getting an exe file. Clear? Fine. So now I have to add a new project. So right click over uh, on 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 C chart project and then just go to add and add. Uh, just want to add a new item and you should go to uh, sorry just go to solution and add a new project and uh, now go to windows and then just select windows form application mm. <coughs> select visual basic and then take windows form application that's it so now um, you need to add a reference over here so the reference is like 
you have to right click and go to add and reference now you'll be getting a window over here uh, the reference is you, you should browse the folder and you have to add it because yeah. you have to link that the compiler should know from where it should refer so just go to browse over here and uh, find your projects it will be in your documents folder and go to projects and mm, that is what the class library one and get into this and then go to debug and there you can see this is dll file you just want to uh, refer uh, add this file as a reference that's it click ok and double click on the form and you just want to add this particular code over there I'm going to add these things so the thing is then I'm going to create an object uh, using a new keyword and these are these two things you know these two things comes from uh, C sharp project so because of this reference you will be getting this one automatically I'll be showing you so if I type uh, a class you'll be getting that class name over there so this is what fine and and within the message box and this is a method name and I'm gonna pass this one and uh, I'm gonna have this is like a you know a message box title and the form is empty actually so I'm just closing it using me dot close that's it so I'm gonna Build this. The build is successful, and you just want to start the project. So now it will be throwing you an error like this: a project with an output type of class library cannot be started directly. So now you have to set this project. So we just right click and set as startup project. That's it. Now we just compile. So you'll be getting this output. So hi, I'm from Shisha and I'm from VB. So this particular, you know, argument is passed to a Shisha project and it will be getting printed. That's it. And thank you.